today has already been an exciting day and it's about to get even more exciting because today is the day we get to find out what our school theme is. Now, this morning was a lot of fun and we have a lot of people that we need to thank for this morning. So I'm gonna say all of their names and at the end, we're gonna clap for all of them. So listen, I'm gonna say all of their names and at the end, when I'm done talking, we're gonna clap for all of them. So a thank you to all of our Lawrence High School football players who helped us out this morning at our team building activities. A thank you to Mrs. Imardino and Mr. Matheson and Mrs. Musi and Mrs. Painter, who you'll know why we're thanking her in a few minutes, and all of our teachers for supporting us because it was a wonderful day. It was a wonderful morning. You worked together beautifully. So let's give everyone a round of applause, including you. Now we have some special visitors with us today and I would just like to recognize them. We have some administrators from the high school and from our district and they're here to see you. So that's wonderful. We have um, our Lawrence High School varsity cheerleaders who are here. And we have the Red Scare Band that I know you heard because they got you out here. Now, I need you to look really closely at me. Okay. We have another guest today. He is our guest of honor. And the Red Scare Marching Band is going to bring him in. So boys and girls, I'm going to tell you about Ed Reynolds. He is all grown up now and he's our guest of honor. But he was once a student here at Eldridge Park School, just like you. He was once in second grade at Eldridge Park and in third grade at Eldridge Park. And now, he is an Eagles football player. So listen, that's not the only thing special about Ed Reynolds. When he went to school here, he, Harry, he was a kid of character. And I'm gonna tell you more about that after we welcome him in. But we are so lucky to have him for so many reasons. And he is where he is because he was a kid of character at Eldridge Park School. So are you ready to meet him? Yeah! Right, let's welcome him in. guest of honor and our band and our cheerleaders have a special presentation before we introduce Ed Reynolds to you.
Okay, boys and girls, stop and freeze. Okay, boys and girls, I want to tell you a little bit more about our guest of honor, Ed Reynolds. So, I told you he went here for second and third grade. And when he was here at Aldridge Park, guess who else was here? I was here. <laughs> and some of our other teachers were here too. And we remember him so fondly. He was, like I told you, a kid of character. He was hardworking and respectful. He persevered. And we wanted at Eldridge Park to find some way to honor him. So we didn't have school meetings then like we do now. So what we did was we found an award that we wanted to nominate him for. And it was given by somebody in the community called Kidsbridge. And lucky for him, Mrs. Burns has files that are really big. <laughs> So somewhere in that file, I found the letter that I wrote when we recommended him for this award that he got. So here's some of the things that we said about Ed Reynolds when he was here at Eldridge Park. You tell me if this sounds like a kid of character. Ed embodies all of the characteristics of a caring student. He is considerate, honest, respectful, and above all, sincere. In addition, he is empathetic, and he shows it in a way that is rarely seen in children his age. Ed is a nine-year-old third grader. Throughout these years, is he nine now? Well, he was nine when he was here. Throughout those years, he has been viewed by teachers and staff as an all-around model student. He is successful in all areas of the curriculum while enjoying sports, clubs, and other social activities. What has been further outstanding, we feel, is Ed's social emotional competence. He is liked and respected undoubtedly, undoubtedly by all his peers. Show me kid of character up here. I know, it's okay, just stay still. This is in essence because of his non-judgmental caring attitude. This is important, listen to who he was. He was the child who would show the new student the ropes help the student who is having trouble in math, choose the student who is often left out, and stick up for the student who is picked, up, picked on, abstain from joining in on behavior that can be construed as hurtful and assist any teacher in need, all without being asked to do so, and without expecting anything in return, without expecting a reward. That is a kid of character. All the time I tell you, why do I teach you these things? Why do we talk about the character traits? That's why we talk about the character traits, because it matters. At the end, I wrote that it has been a pleasure to start as educational career, and we are sure that he will encounter much success in the future. And I'm so glad to say that he has, and to say that he's here for a character kickoff, and he's here to speak with you right now. Do you want to hear from him? Yeah. Yeah. something that's that's taken me to where I am now as being a part of the Philadelphia Eagles organization um, but let me let me pick come here, come here real quick. 
So I asked my friend Riddy here, what does he want to be when he grows up? Tell him what you said. <laughs> what team do you want to play for? <laughs> yeah, he, he said the Eagles confidently. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eagles. Uh, what about you? you come here. What's your name? Ava. Ava. What do you want to be when you grow up? You know? No idea. That's fine. I had no idea. Either. You. What's your name? Leo. And what do you want to be when you grow up? It's a great job too. Thank you. So, when I say about third grade, about third grade I made my mind up and I told everyone who would listen that I wanted to play professional football. Honestly, I think I still, my mom still has like little, little projects from, from that I did at this school. And it's like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, oh, I want to play professional football. I, I could definitely do that. Not realizing how much work it was going to take to get to that point. But if I can get to where I am now, playing for the Eagles, living my dream, you guys can do the same. But like, like uh, Ms. Burns said, I did it with the, the character, the, the discipline, the, the respect, the work ethic that you got, that they're teaching you here. And uh, I just want, want all y'all to know that you can all reach your dreams. I'm a living example of that. Um, and just continue to, to learn and take whatever whatever they're teaching you here and be kids of character every day. Don't don't just, you know, pick pick one time where you can, you know, talk to someone, you know, see see a kid out here and then, you know, you see them kind of being sad and you want to go help them. Be that kid every day because it's going to turn out for the best for you um, and for someone else because you don't know who you're helping uh, regardless of, of, you know, the circumstance. So. Uh, I just want y'all to continue to be kids of character, continue to enjoy your time at this, at this school. I had a great time. Uh, all my Eagles fans continue to, to keep cheering for us. And uh, you know, hopefully we can take y'all to the Super Bowl this year. Thank you. Boys and girls, this is so incredibly special, isn't it? And it's not only special because we have Ed Reynolds, but we're being supported by our high school football team, our high school band, and our high school cheerleaders. Wasn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that we owe them for helping us, because they have to go back to school. I think we owe them a superstar cheer. What do you think? Yeah. All right, everybody up. Okay, are we ready? On the count of three. Face them. You gotta look at them. Don't look at me. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you so much for coming out today. I appreciate So Ed's gonna stay with us a little while longer, but the um, cheerleaders and the band need to go back to school and the football players. However, there are two people that we need to thank because they really helped us in getting Ed to come visit our school. So those people, one of them is a teacher here. And the other one is her daughter because Mrs. Weiner and her daughter Rachel really helped us, helped me and Mrs. Heyman a lot in contacting the Eagles and getting Ed to come here and, and making sure that it would all work out. So Mrs. Weiner and Rachel, you want to come on up? We just have a little something to say. Until we are silent. Callie, name, turn around. 
is going to stay with us and watch to see who is a kid of character here at Eldridge Park, and it should be everyone. So I know you brought your puzzle pieces with you, and I know that there are people bringing them forward. Mrs. Burns is going to help us discover what you've been waiting for. It's not Eldridge Park School, you've got the power anymore. It's something new. We still have the power, but it's something new. So, I know many of you from all the clues we did last week, you have some guesses, and you might be close, but we won't know until we put this puzzle together. So, on the back of your puzzle pieces, there is a number. So I would like the class, I think it's Mrs. Barrett's class, no? Okay, the class who has number one, if you would raise your hand. Oh, you're gonna come on up. Number one, Mrs. Irvin's class. They're gonna tell us the word that's on the puzzle, piece that they have, and then we're gonna see if we can put this together. What word do you have? Person. They have, I'm gonna show everybody. Person. All right, go take that over to the puzzle, see if you can put it on there. Okay, so we have the word person. Now I need Mrs. Barrett's class number two. Come on. What word do you have? Every. They have every. All right, go on over. Okay, so now we have every person. This is sounding familiar. Number three. But we know it's not the same. So we'll have to wait and see. Yep, and we had every person shine for B right? It's always up there, it's always part of it. Shine. Oh, boys and girls, you gotta make sure you can hear. Falcon breeze. Make sure you hear this. Ready? Shine. All right. Shine. Okay, number four. Who has number four? Come on up, Miss Perez class. Okay, are you ready to read? Self-control. There it says self-control. That's one of the character traits. Right now I see many of you exercising self-control. Okay, now I need number five. Okay, girls, what do you have? Caring. Okay, show it to them. Caring. All right, go put number five up there. Number six. Who has puzzle piece number six? Emma. Oh, Miss Turkowski's class. Part of the puzzle says perseverance. Go put it up. Number seven. Citizenship. Say it again, nice and loud. Citizenship. Citizenship. Another what? What, is, what are these things? Thank you. 
passing on. Caleb. Say it again. We did, but think about when we talk about character. What is it that we would pass on? Christian, you know? 
the character theme. We're passing on good character. We're passing on kindness and respect and responsibility and honesty, all those things. Because when you do it, other people will do it. So at Eldridge Park School, every person shines. You have the power, like we talked about last year, you have the power to pass it on. Are you going to pass it on? Yeah. All right. It's going to be a good year then. Um, boys and girls, did you get enough of Ed Reynolds or would you like a little more? <laughs> A football here that we're going to ask him to sign. about good character, we've talked about being kind, we've, we've met our very special guest of honor, and he has a few minutes to answer some questions, but your question should be thoughtful. So think in your mind, if you have a question for Ed, maybe about the football team, or about how he got from Eldridge Park to being on the Eagles. Think about your question before you're going to ask it. Okay? So, let's see. Let me have Alexio come up and ask a question. Do you like playing football? Do I like <laughs> Uh, I love playing football. Uh, always have. I started playing when I was 11, 12 years old, um, and haven't stopped playing since. Uh, played in high school, played uh, in college out of Stanford, out of California. How many people have been to California? Anyone? Anyone? It's a lot. You live in California? What? Uh, and uh, but yeah, love, love, love the sport. Love everything about it. And continue to love it. We'll always love it. What made you think you wanted to play for the Eagles? What made me want to play for the Eagles? Uh, okay, honestly, I had no choice. <laughs> but, but I was happy when I got drafted. When I got drafted here. Um, great fan base. Um, it was kind of, like I've been telling a lot of people, it's like coming full circle. I lived here, then I left for high school, I lived in Virginia, then I went out to California and now I'm back 45 minutes away. It's kind of just how crazy things work. It comes full circle for me. Um, but yeah, uh, I love, you know, I love being a part of the Eagles organization now. Have you ever gotten hurt? Yes, yeah. When I was, when I was younger, uh, it's actually, my, my very first year, I had to, I had to kind of like fight with my, not fight with my parents, but I had to convince my parents that it was okay for me to play football. Um, they thought I was a little, like they wanted me to grow up a little bit, be a little bigger. Um, and I convinced them that I should. And then that first year, I broke my finger and a bone in my hand. So it was kind of like a, a we told you so moment for them. Uh, but then in college, my, I messed up my knee. I tore my ACL, MCL, the ligaments in your knee that makes, makes your knee stable. Um, so I had to sit out a year. But since after that, nothing, I'm staying pretty healthy. What do you 
team do you want to be on when you start it? So, <laughs> um, growing up, my dad, my dad played professional football as well. Uh, he played for the Patriots and he played for the Giants. So, so growing up, I wanted to be on either one of those one of those teams. Um, and, uh, but you know, I, in the end, I just wanted to play. I just wanted to play football. I wanted to be in the NFL. So playing for the Eagles is great, but the Giants were, was definitely one of my teams. I play for the Eagles now because um, after college, when you want to play professional, uh, you have to get put into a draft, kind of like a kind of like a raffle. You know, you ever play like raffle, where you like just pick a name out. Okay, so something like that, but not really. Uh, but yeah, they uh, you know teams teams go and they, they try to decide. Oh, do we like this player? Do we not like this player? And the Eagles like me enough to, to draft me in the fifth round. Because the Eagle team was famous. The Eagles are pretty famous. Um, they even have like, have, yeah, especially around here. Um, but uh, I wouldn't say I, I I picked them just because they are famous. Um, it's just kind of like a perk. Well, yeah, but um, which which sport you want to play when you're a kid? That's a that's a very good question. Um, growing up, I played pretty much everything. I was a big soccer fan. Played a lot of soccer. Um, who here plays soccer? Uh, who plays? I never played goalie. I was more like a forward or like a right wing. Who plays forward or right wing? Yeah. Who likes to score goals? Yeah. I was I was that kid. <laughs> Score goals, pass the ball, make teammates score goals, you know, always trying to share the ball. But, uh, yeah, soccer was big for me when I was little. Uh, played basketball, ran track, played lacrosse, uh, played some rugby in high school. Yeah, but I was never a huge baseball fan. What position do you play? Yeah, um, so in high school, I played running back and pretty much everything on defense. I was safety, corner, linebacker. Um, in college, I was recruited and ended up playing safety, and that's what I play now. I play free safety. Uh, all the Eagles fans, you know, uh, number 27, Malcolm Jenkins. They're playing really well lately. Yeah, I play the same position as he does. And my degree is in political science with a concentration in international relations. What was it like when you were here? When I was here? Um, that's a very good question. Um, honestly, when I look out right now, or I look at the school and I look at you know the, the kickball <laughs> station over there, it brings back a lot of good memories. It was, it was a great time here. Like I said, I had Mrs. Irene set my first year here. She was great. Um, I'm sure if, you, if you've had her or had her or have her now, I'm sure you. I'm sure you did the same. Um, but yeah, it was a great time. Like I, I moved. I moved to New Jersey from North Carolina. That's where I'm originally from. Uh, so I was. I was the new kid. I was the new kid on the block. Had a had a southern accent, like a southern twang. I didn't think I had anything, but you come up. I came up here and everyone thought I talked funny. Um, and so you know, I was just trying to fit in. And with all the other kids that I met while I was here and, and the teachers. Um, I had a great time, and I, I was able to, to make a lot of friends, and I still have a lot of friends today for this school. Who inspired you from playing football? Who inspired you from playing football? Who inspired me? Uh, mainly, mainly my dad. Um, if you think, if you think, if you think I'm big, my dad is. 
six five, six six, about two. He, when he played, he was like two forty five, two fifty. So to put that in perspective, I am six two, two hundred and ten pounds. So he's a lot bigger than me, and I thought he was like king of the world when I was little. Um, now, you know, I feel like I could, I could take him a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I think, no, 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 never. But no, he's, uh, that was, he was like, he's my role model, still my role model today. Um, and he's the one who really inspired me to be, to be a football player. I have met somebody that, um, that was on the Dolphins named John Nalbo. <laughs> I have not. How do you know? <laughs> so I haven't scored a touchdown for the Eagles, but um, scored a lot of touchdowns in high school uh, when I was younger and scored a fair amount of touchdowns in college. Uh, my junior year, so what, two, year, two years ago, I uh, I led the I led the NCAA, which is college football. I led them in return yards, interceptions, and interceptions for touchdowns. So I threw. Pretty. I mean, they like I said, they drafted me. But even when you get drafted, you you have to. Everything is a is a tryout process. So you always have to be up, be on your A game. You always have to come to work ready, ready to, to give your best and give everything you can, and um, and that's what it is. Okay, I, I have one more question, and that's going to be our last question. But my question is: We've been talking a lot about character traits, respect, responsibility, perseverance, trustworthiness, fairness. Can you just tell us a little bit about how you use character traits when you're playing football? So using character traits when I'm playing football. Um, well, I think uh, the main one that I was taught from an early age when it comes to football is respect. Um, respect for your coaches, respect for your teammates, um, respect for the game in general. You know, the, the game. this game is is older than anyone who's who's you know alive playing it has been played for a long time and so you're always you always have to respect and and really don't take for granted the time that you get when you're when you're in between the white lines getting to play um another one is trustworthiness is huge on a football field um it's not a it's not a a you know you're not a one person team there's 11 guys on the field with you at all times or 10 plus yourself and you have to be able to trust that your that your teammates are going to do their job, and they have to trust that you're going to do your job, so that you know you can be successful, that you can win games, that you can make big plays. Um, and I think trust and respect are probably the the two main ones that, no matter what level you're on, um, whether I was playing at you know 12 years old in high school, college, and even now that my coaches have always preached it. And it's it's definitely, if you have that on your team, you're gonna win games. So that's, that's pretty much it. Boys and girls, this has been an awesome experience, don't you think? What are we gonna say to Ed for coming out here today to be with us? What do we say? Yeah. And I think he, he deserves a superstar cheer too, so let's stand up. Here we go. Ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Awesome job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, before you go back to your classes, I think it's important that we say our character theme together one more time. I'll say the first part, you say the second part. You ready? One, two, three. Every person shall.